Exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, are growing in popularity. However, many financial professionals still don't fully understand how they work. For example, average daily volume is often looked at as an indicator of ETF liquidity. But volume averages can be an inaccurate liquidity measurements for ETFs. In this video, we're going to explain how ETF liquidity really works through the process of ETF creation and redemption, and a metaphor about donuts. Because donuts are awesome, and so is ETF liquidity. Imagine that an individual stock is a single delicious donut. Mm. An ETF would then be a beautiful pink box of delicious donuts. Let's say a donut shop typically has 10 glazed old-fashioned donuts for sale on an average day. That is the average daily volume for that donut. And they also usually sell 10 boxes of donut assortments on an average day, which is the average daily volume for boxes of donut assortments. If a customer places an order for 20 glazed old-fashioned donuts, they will have to wait a couple days to get their order filled because there were only 10 available. And when they're gone, they're gone. And that's a problem because no one likes day-old donuts. This is why average daily volume works as a liquidity indicator for an individual stock. Now instead of individual donuts, let's say the customer places an order for 20 boxes of a donut assortment. Although the donut shop usually only sells 10 boxes per day, this customer can still have their order filled immediately because the donut shop can create 10 more boxes by simply filling them with donuts from the shelf. So, as long as there are enough individual donuts, they can make as many boxes as the customer wants. In the ETF world, this process is called creation. creation. In our donut shop, customers can also return unused boxes of donuts for a refund. We then redeem these boxes by taking the donuts out, putting them back on the shelf, and selling them to the next customer who wants them. Shh, don't tell the health inspector. While that may be disgusting in a real donut shop, and probably a violation of major health codes, when it comes to ETFs, this is the beautiful process called redemption, redemption, and is how the market provides liquidity for those looking to cash out their ETFs. Because boxes of donuts and ETFs can be created and redeemed at will, it doesn't matter how many boxes are typically bought or sold on an average day. Customer orders can still be filled immediately. This is why average daily volume is a poor indicator of liquidity when it comes to ETFs. So instead of average daily volume, what is a good indicator of ETF liquidity? Introducing implied liquidity. Implied liquidity looks beyond how many boxes of donuts are sold on an average day and considers the availability of the individual donuts that go into the boxes. Let's say our donut shop offers boxes of a dozen glazed donuts on their menu. If the donut shop usually has 120 glazed donuts available on an average day, they can create up to 10 boxes per day of that assortment. This means the implied liquidity of boxes of glazed donuts is 10 boxes per day, regardless of how many boxes they usually sell per day. Our donut shop also offers for sale a specialty assortment box of donuts, which includes one particularly esoteric donut in each box. If there are only five of these esoteric donuts available on an average day, the donut shop can only create up to five boxes of this specialty assortment. In other words, the implied liquidity of the specialty assortment is five boxes. Likewise, if an ETF is comprised of highly liquid stocks, then the implied liquidity of that ETF is very high, regardless of how many shares of that ETF are traded on an average day. If an ETF is comprised of more esoteric, illiquid stocks, then the implied liquidity of that specialty ETF will be lower. Because the liquidity of an ETF is directly correlated to the availability of the stocks it is made up of, implied liquidity is the preferred measurement for ETF liquidity, not average daily volume. Now that you know how ETF liquidity really works, go share a box of donuts and this video with your friends and happy ETF investing. Several boxes of warm donuts were harmed in making this video. Investing involves risk and so does excessive consumption of donuts, including possible loss of principal and gain of weight. Restrictions may apply, particularly around the waist and when wearing skinny jeans. Liquidity is not to be confused with liquid duty, which is an altogether different condition. For more information about liquid duty, including possible remedies, please consult your medical professional. For more information about donuts, please consult your local donut retailer of choice. For more information about Inspire Investing, visit inspireinvesting.com.